welcome back. Or, if you are new, welcome. Today I'm coming at you with a bare face, imperfections shining through. Because I'm like addicted to watching Nikki Tutorial's videos just in general, but also her um, power of makeup ones. And she just uploaded a new one with Madison Beer. And I was like, oh my God, I need to try this because I get like mixed opinions from people when it comes to like me with makeup on. Like some people are like, you barely look different. And then there are the other people that are like, your face changes a lot when you put on makeup. So I just want to see what I look like in comparison. Do you know what I mean? Because to me, I think I look completely different with makeup on, but we'll see, you know? We can literally judge it at the end. I'm coming at you with my bare face because I didn't want to give away any spoilers, you know? So, bare face it is. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Face is here, button's below. You've got options. Isn't that fun? Anywho, let's get into this. I'm quite excited. Let's go. I think it'd be a wise decision to put my hair out of the way with some clips. So, do I need to clip both sides? Like, do I need to get... It doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter, does it? Why am I overthinking it? We're just going to put clips in both sides. That way, face is out there, ready to be painted. I'm going to do this side. No reason, just I want to. I feel like this is the side I gravitate towards more. And also, this is on this side. I really would rather cover it. These ones don't really bother me as much as this one here. I'm first going to prime. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer. I'm running low. I've been running low for a while now. This is why I've put too much on. I'm literally just doing half my face. Absolutely ridiculous, Nick. I can't tell if this is going to take me a while or if it's going to take me half the time. It could go either way, really, couldn't it? Okay. <laughs> now that we're primed, do you see a difference yet? I'm going to use this Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F5. It is a different colour to my neck right now because this is my fake tan shade, I think. Because I put this, I started using this again when I had my fake tan on and I liked it, but I've used it since and it's not really. Once again, I'm painting my face. What is it about this applicator that just makes me paint my face? Put it away before we get carried away. I'm gonna blend it with a brush. There's a hair on it. Okay, now for concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. This is the hydrating one. Did I say hydrating? Yes, it's the name. Sorry. I'm going to put it here. A bit here. Oh, just half highlight. <laughs> Hold on my blemish. A bit on the end. Blend it with a brush. I'm going to add a bit of the non-hydrating one same thing it's in the shade fair warm is it the same shade oh look at that i'm gonna add just a little bit of this one to my blemish because this one dries down a bit more because it's not the hydrating one now we're gonna do a little bit of cream bronzer this is the chanel it's a lady tan chanel i'm gonna take it on like a little dense flat brush i think that's what it is swirl it up i'm gonna add it to the back of the face <laughs> is it even worth putting it there now Whatever. I'm just doing what I normally do. Now I'm going to use some of the Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Happy. Keep it up here. Love this. I'm quickly just going to put on some lip balm because my lips are dry. I am going to put it on this side. Sorry, I just can't deal with the fact that i got dry lips. This is the Bondi Sands lip balm with vitamin E, by the way. Tastes like coconut. We are going to set this in place with the RCMA No Colour Powder. Pour it in a lid. Not too much, thank you. I'm going to take my little poof pad. I'm going to press it. Oh, hang on. I'm going to make sure there's no creasing under the eyes. And over the eyes. And press it underneath. I'm also going to use this to pop some down here. I'm actually just going to set my entire side of the face with this pad. Leaving the cheek area though. 
Okay, now I'm gonna do some contour. So I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna use a brush like this and I like to take an eyeshadow. So I take this one, it's the shade Jet Setter from the Tartlet and Bloom palette. Mine is, it's seen better days. We'll leave it at that. Just gonna take it down the edge. This is gonna look so weird with like half a contoured nose. Now I'm gonna take my poofy pad into the powder and draw down the side of my nose. Now go in with a brush like this, same colour. I'm gonna use this to contour my jawline. Oh, I went a bit intense on that, didn't I? It's fine, we'll blend it down. Okay, now we're gonna take some powder bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. A little angle brush, poofy angle brush, I should say. I'm gonna keep this towards the back of the face. I'm gonna use a light hand though, because we haven't set that part. <laughs> Make sure I get the forehead. Now I'm going to take the bronzer again on an eyeshadow brush and put it in the crease, blend it up through the brow, and wing it out back here. I'm also going to take it underneath and add it to the wing up here. Then I take some more and deepen up the outer part. I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush, like I'm not dipping back in, and I'm going to just run it over the entire eyelid. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows quickly just so they're out of the way. So let's brush them up. Well, brush it up. I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 4.5. I'm just gonna do a line underneath. And then this eyebrow is kind of missing the arch up here a little bit. Like this one's got more of an arch, this one hasn't. So I like to just make them a bit more even. Done with that. Now I'm gonna do some highlight. So I'm gonna use the Dior Highlight Palette. First on a little fluffy, poofy, I'm going to take these two top ones, add it just right here, and then take it above the brow. Then I'm going to take a little pointy brush, go into the same ones, put it on the inner corner. Same again, and I'm going to put it on the tip of the nose, and up here between the brows. Take a bit on top of the cube as well. Then I'm going to take this brush into the same ones, go do the brow bone. Then I like to take some up here and connect it up to the brow bone one. Don't know why. I saw someone else do it. I think it was in a Vogue tutorial. I'm going to add some to the chin. I'm going to go in with some powder blush and I'm going to use the Life's a Peach blush from L'Oreal. Load it up and add it to the back of the face. I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and dust away the bake. I'm going to do some liquid eyeliner. This is the... Rimmel London Glam Eyes one in the shade Black Glamour. I'm going to do not a big wing. I'm going to attempt not to do a big wing anyway, but we'll see how we get on. It turned out to be a little bit bigger than I wanted, but it's still okay, I think. Now, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Yes, it's still eyelashes, even if it is one eye. <laughs> I have to double check. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, just to give my lashes a light coat. This mascara looks so nice when I haven't got eyeliner on, because you can't see it when <laughs> I've got eyeliner on. Now, on this side of my face, I've got a little freckle underneath my brow, and I quite like it. <laughs> I know that's weird, but... I like it. And also, when I put makeup on, no matter how much makeup I put on, it's not going to cover. So it just kind of looks a bit weird. But anyways, I've got this freckle tint and I'm just going to go over it. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Now, I am going to pop on some false eyelashes. Just like half natural lashes things from this brand. Can you see? They're from Amazon. That's all I can give you, really. Whilst we're waiting for those to dry, I didn't show you the glue I was using, I do apologise. This is the Real False Lashes Invisible Lash Glue from Benefit. So as I was saying, whilst we're waiting for those to dry down a little bit, we're going to do our lips. First of all, I'm going to use the, the Obsession Lip Liner in the shade Hookup, it's dark brown. Pop. And I like to overline my lips. Rub it in with my finger. Then I like to use this Laura Mercier lip crayon in the shade Vibe. And I'm gonna colour in the lip. And now I'm gonna go over the top of that with the Laura Mercier Rose Gold Accent Lip Gloss. 
and I'm going to attempt to stick on this eyelash. To finish it all off, I'm going to use the Urban Decay to Slick Setting Spray. I'm going to give it a bit of a spritz. Just wait for it to dry. This looks so weird. Like, <laughs> why does this side look like such a child? Like, there's obviously going to be a difference because it's like makeup. I feel like it's all just down to personal preference, really, isn't it? Like, most days, I like to just walk around with no makeup on. And I'm fine with it. All these little blemishes and everything like that, fine. You do your thing. You want to appear on my face, I'd appreciate it if you didn't, but if you're there, I don't really care. But then this side as well, like, I, like it's fun to do. Do you know what I mean? Feels good to look at, though, in the terms of... I thought I was going to prefer this side. Like, I don't have a preference, but... And that feels good because... Not to get deep on the tube here, but I feel like me in school would have been like this side or nothing at all. Like you either get this side or I'm not going anywhere. Like I used to show up to school with like a full face of makeup on every single day. I think it's more of like a confidence thing, is it? Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get deep. Like I said, not getting deep on the tube. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and so much more. And yeah, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!